Hello and good morning, madam. My name is Dara Alanor Di Balisoro, a student nurse from 1BS and 2, and here is my performance task for the final period in the subject of Microbiology and Parasitology Lab. The gram stain. In a clinical microbiology laboratory, the gram stain is the most often used stain, and it is usually the initial step in detecting bacteria. Based on differences in cell wall components, bacteria are classified as either gram-positive, which stains dark purple or purple, or gram-negative, which stains pink. In addition to the cell wall components, the morphology and configuration of the bacteria can also be evaluated with this test. Examples are gram-positive cosi in chains or the gram-negative rod. Aside from that, the gram-stained regions include crystal violet, which acts as the primary stain, grams iodine, which acts as mordant, alcohol, which acts as the colorizer, and saffronine, which will act as counterstain. Specifically, I will be focusing on the procedures in performing the gram stain. We will sterilize the loop. Then, from our liquid culture, we will take a loop full of bacteria and emulsify it in a small drop of water or saline on the slide. Then, we sterilize the loop again and we let the slide air dry. All of these were done automatically in the virtual module. To formally begin the gram stain test, first, we must hit fix the slide. So we are going to use the Bunsen burner. And we are going to pass the slide gently two or three times or one to two seconds through the flame. We hit fix the slide so that the smear will not wash off but we were also careful not to overheat the slide because overheating can cause distortion of the cells. Second, flood the slide with crystal violet for one minute. Third, Rinse the slide with water. Fourth, flood the slide with iodine for one minute. Fifth, rinse again the slide with water. Sixth, decolorize with alcohol for five to ten seconds. Seventh, Rinse again with water. Eight. Flood the slide with saffronine for one minute. Nine. Rinse again with water. And last but not the least, we can now finally view the slide under the microscope. Here is the result of our experiment. As we can see, there are both gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria on the slide, wherein the spherical or cosi are gram-positive bacteria because they are stained deep purple, and the rod-shaped or bacilli here are gram-negative because they are stained pink. To summarize, a suspension of bacteria was placed on a clean glass slide. We allowed the slide to dry and then we fixed the smear with heat. The slide was then stained with crystal violet, treated with iodine to complex the crystal violet in the gram-positive cell wall, decolorized with alcohol, and then counterstained with saffronine.
However, we also wash the slide with water between each step. Lastly, we viewed the slide under the microscope using the 100x objective or 1000x magnification. That ends my video and thank you so much for watching!